During a court case, evidence is presented, but what if that evidence is AI? We are finding out why that's causing controversy next. Well, is the future of the courtroom artificial intelligence? Just this month, for what is believed to be the first time, an AI-generated victim impact statement was given in a manslaughter case, and its implications, according to experts, are far-reaching. Your reporter, Brian Abel, explains. You know, it's just all about God and all about people. So, as you can see from my video, I recorded in 2021. This here is a true representation of who I was. This is an AI-generated video of Chris Pelkey, who was killed during a 2021 road rage incident. It was played at the sentencing of the man who was found guilty of manslaughter in his death. To the man who shot me. It is a shame we encountered each other that day in those circumstances. But the use of the technology brings up significant judicial questions, including whether it should be used to sway a judge's sentencing decision. When people see something and they hear it, even if they know that it's, it's generated, it's not it actually occurred, it has then changed their thought process in a way. Prosecutors in the case asked for nine and a half years for the manslaughter charge. The judge gave 10 and a half years, roughly a month prior. Shut that off. A plaintiff in a different hearing submitted an AI generated video for his case in a New York court. May it please the court. I come here today a humble proceed right. before a panel of five distinguished Is justices. This? Is this, hold on, is that counsel for the case? I generated that. The court shutting down the effort. I don't appreciate being misled. But Duke Law Professor Paul Grimm says this is just the beginning. Maybe now we've got an ankle in the water as well as a toe. Five years from now, I think that this will be well established in certain parameters. 